Welcome back to our video series, A Complete Guide to Starting a Website. In part two, we'll show you how to register a domain name and purchase web hosting to host that domain. For both of these tasks, we're going to use HostGator. They're a reliable service, and we can get both our domain and our hosting from the same place, which makes setup a breeze. So head over to HostGator.com. On the home page, you can see a list of some of their key features, and we'll touch on a few now. So, they have a 45 day money back guarantee. So if you find out that you don't like it, you don't like the hosting service, or maybe starting a website wasn't for you, you can get your money back. 45 day guarantee, no questions asked. They also have 24 seven, 365 days a year technical support. You can have a live chat with them at any time. Now two other key features, they give you a hundred dollar Google AdWords credit, and so maybe you weren't planning on using AdWords, but if you have $100 to try it out, why not? And then more importantly, they have one-click script installs. So that's going to help us install WordPress in a future video. So let's get started. We're going to click View Web Hosting Plans in the center. On the next page, we scroll down, and it shows us the three shared plans that they offer. We want to choose the baby plan, the middle plan here, and why you want to choose that is the unlimited domains. So that means if you decide you want to start a second, third, fourth, or fifteenth website, you can host them all on the same hosting plan. You pay one monthly fee for as many websites as you'd like. So click the drop down menu and select the number of months or years you'd like to prepay. Notice the more you prepay, the cheaper it is per month. Also, the longer you prepay for, the more you'll save with our 25% off coupon. So at least register for six months with a 25% off coupon. If, so let's select six months and then click order now. On this next page, we're going to register our new domain name. So you're going to type in your desired domain name. Again, some key facts about domains. We want to choose the .com. It allows you to do the .net and the .org, but if we can, we prefer a .com. Your domain name should be easy to spell and easy to remember. It shouldn't contain any numbers, and if possible, it should have your keywords in it. Also, keep in mind that you should try to avoid using trademarks. As a worst case scenario, if your domain has a trademark, that company could target your website and force you to close it down. So avoid trademarks if you can. So enter the domain name that you'd like to try. And then before you click continue to step two, come down here to the coupon code and enter start a website 25. So that's start a website 25 and that's going to save you 25% off of your hosting and then click continue to step two. Now again if we can change here how long we'd like to pay our billing cycle so we selected six months let's just touch on this for a second if you choose one month with a 25 percent off as we scroll all the way to the bottom we'll see that we only saved two dollars and forty nine cents which isn't a lot of savings. Now let's talk about some of the other savings if you choose six months then you'll save $14.92, but you'll pay more up front. If you choose 12 months, you'll save $29.85. If you choose two years, you'll save $53.70. And if you choose the maximum three years, you'll save yourself $71.55. But keep in mind, you'll be expected to pay $229.65 right now. So that might be a big investment but if you're planning on having your website for a while that will save you the most money in the long run if you think you only want to choose one month then don't use the coupon code start a website 25 instead use start a website free and that will give you the first month for free so it'll be 9.95 off so your total for if you chose one month would be fifteen dollars here now keep in mind, whatever length you decide to pay for now, after that length is up, then you're going to go back to the $9.95 a month price. So that 25% is only on your initial order. So if you choose the free month, then your second month is going to be $9.95. Where if you choose 
the six months, which we prefer. So we'll go back up, choose the six months or more, and that's going to change our savings. Now we save $14.92, and it's going to cost us $60 to get started. So back up to the top, we have the baby plan. We choose our billing cycle. We're going to enter a username and security pin, and then we're going to enter our billing information. You can choose to pay by credit card or PayPal, so I'm going to choose PayPal. And then they've added a new feature. You, with your domain, you can choose domain privacy protection, which basically means it hides your name and contact information from people that look up your website. They also have a second feature, GoMobi, which helps you develop mobile websites. Personally, I don't use either of these features, so I d don't check either and skip down below. I've read and accepted the terms. I've saved 25% with my coupon code, and I'm going to create an account. So then when you create an account using PayPal, you get this next screen and just continue on to complete your transaction through PayPal. I'm going to skip that for this video. When you come back after you've made the payment, you see this page. It doesn't tell us a whole lot, and it doesn't tell you exactly what you need to do. All we need to do now really is wait and go check your email. So after three or four minutes usually, they say it can take up to 24 hours, but I haven't had that be the case. Check your email, and you should see an email that looks something like this. Saleshostgator.com. So we're going to click on it. And there's some important information in here. So this first link is going to be to our billing account, which right now doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. We come down, it tells us what type of plan we have, and then our control panel. That's where we're going to install WordPress and get our website configured. Our username, our domain name that we just purchased, and then our first password. So we're going to take this password, we're going to copy it, and then we're going to click on your control panel. That brings us to our C panel where we're going to enter that username that it just showed us in the email, and then we're going to paste that password that we had and then click login. Now we're in our HostGator control panel. There's a little welcome wizard you can use if you want to. I'm going to close out for now. And the control panel can be overwhelming at first, but there's only a few things you need to know. First, we're going to come down and change a password. So you click password there. You're going to enter your old password, then your new password, and then change that password. Because you'll never remember that one that you copy and pasted. Then after that, we go back to the control panel. The only thing we're worried about now is installing WordPress, and that will be our next video. So you've successfully registered your domain name and purchased web hosting. Now you're off and ready. We're going to install WordPress in the next video and you'll have your website up and running in no time. As always, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.